Hello creatives, I'm back again. I'm Rosha Rosa, a creative consultant for creative professionals, brands, and projects. And this month I am doing a 30 videos in 30 days challenge that I'm super excited to share with you. And we'll go through six different themes and five videos each of different topics related to creative careers, how to break into them, how to um, really rise to the top in your creative field and I'm very excited to get into it, so let's go. Okay, so today I'm gonna be expanding on a video that I did a few weeks ago where um, I talked about networking tips for creative professionals. I wanna dig a little bit deeper in today's video about that and give you some, some more context and some more detail on how to effectively network as a creative professional. So I mentioned in the earlier video that it really starts with changing your mindset about networking being transactional because it is not transactional, it is relational. Networking is about establishing lifelong career relationships that are beneficial for all parties. Um, and how you do this, like a practical way on how you find people to network with is that you try to take a look at what your what take a look at what your career trajectory might be 10 to 15 years from now that might be kind of wild to think about especially if you're you're a younger professional and you don't know where you want to be but like if you could have an ideal situation for the current career trajectory that you're at and find someone who is there at the moment or someone who is similar to where you would want to be 10 to 15 years from now in terms of a career path. Find those people and when you reach out to them, actually be interested in what that person does. Like if you have no interest, you don't feel any kind of connection to what their resume looks like, what their life work looks like, don't, don't interact with them. Um, but if you do find that something that they've done in their career is really, really cool and it's something you'd like to do in the future, reach out and touch on that. Because you really want to ask thoughtful questions about what kind of work that person does um, and ask about how they got there, ask about you know some challenges they faced. And um, as like a final note, like as you're walking through the conversation with them, if they do end up um, agreeing to get coffee with you or do a virtual chat with you, um, follow up with those personal questions with what advice they would give to younger people or people who want to be where they're at. Because obviously, like, it's a different environment now than it was 10 to 15 years ago, but they are still aware of the environment now so they can give you insight into what needs to happen what steps you need to take today to get to where you want to be tomorrow even though they came to their position in a different time um, they still have the insight with today's atmosphere to know how to navigate some pit pitfalls and some traps that a younger professional might fall into so i hope that was helpful hit the like button hit subscribe so you can continue getting content like this and i will see you tomorrow